listen to me carefully because this is going to change the way you work in the next five minutes. ChatGPT is mind-blowing. It's a conversational AI model that by now you've probably heard about already a million times. So let's go straight into my top 10 ways to use ChatGPT to skyrocket your work productivity. Number 10. Writing emails. ChatGPT is your personal assistant. Just let it know to whom you want to write the email and what the email should be about, and you'll be surprised of the results. So for example, let's ask ChatGPT to write an email to John Doe of company Newcomp to ask for a quote for product X, and I want three units. Ask for quantity rebate, delivery time, and any other question one should ask in such an email. Click send, and here's your mail. Dear John Doe, I hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out from your company and I'm interested in obtaining a quote for three units of your product X. Please let me know if you need any further information from me to provide an accurate quote. That sounds pretty good to me. Number 9. Answering emails. Now let's assume that John Doe has answered to my email. You can just copy the text of that email and paste it into ChatGPT. So in conversational terms, I'll tell ChatGPT what happened. Mr. Doe has answered the following. Dear Enrico, thank you for your email. It's a pleasure to hear back from you. Unfortunately, I regret to let you know that Product X is out of stock and currently we don't know whether we'll be able to offer it again in the future. In alternative, I'd like to offer you Product Y that is slightly more expensive but offers premium features. Please let me know if you'd like me to send you an offer for Product Y. And now let's ask ChatGPT to answer this email politely accepting the offer. Just a matter of a couple of seconds and that's our polite email. But let's say I'm disappointed with Mr. Doe's response. So let's give ChatGPT another prompt. I'll ask it to rewrite the email with disappointed tone, saying that this puts us in a difficult situation. Newcomp had guaranteed availability for 10 years, which is now not the case. Ask to schedule a Zoom call to discuss this important issue. Just a few seconds and that's your email. Dear John Doe, I received your email regarding the unavailability of Product X. And I must say that I'm disappointed to hear. Please let me know a few dates and times for you to schedule this call. I look forward to hearing from you soon. How much time is this saving to you? It's just mind blowing. Number eight, summarizing text. So let's say you have an article or a report and you want to have a brief overview on the key points. Or maybe you have to create a summary to share with your colleagues. So for example, let's go to Wikipedia and look for artificial intelligence. This is a pretty long article, so let me copy the first paragraphs and then go to ChatGPT and ask it to summarize the following article in 10 bullet points. For each point, give me a two sentences summary. The article is the following. And there you go! You have to be aware though that there is a limitation in the length of the text that you're pasting. I tried to copy and paste the whole article from Wikipedia, but ChatGPT told me that it was too long. So in case you need to summarize a very long article, then you may have to split it in smaller parts. We now have 10 digestible key points that summarize the article. I'm just speechless. And once you have your 10 bullet points, you can further refine the product. So ChatGPT, give a title to each bullet point and make the title bold and change the point format to numbered list. Well, I said make the title of each bullet point bold. Psh! Number seven explaining things. So you may think, well, I already have Google, right? So let's assume you want to know what AOP stands for in financial terms. Yes, you could go to Google and Google would send you a list of websites that have that relevant content. But now this is different because ChatGPT has already taken all that information, has digested it, and now it's presenting it to you the way you want to hear it. So ChatGPT, what does AOP stand for in financial terms? But you can ask ChatGPT any question you like. For example, how can I create a poll in Zoom meeting? And boom, you have all the instructions. Or now let's assume that you don't know the meaning of a word and you want ChatGPT to explain it to you. But not just that, you want it to create a few examples of sentences to put that word into context. So what does serendipity mean? Explain it to me and give me three examples of use in a sentence. Furthermore, give me the Italian translation. Yeah, sure, you can use it also as your translator, but you can ask it to perform even more complex translation tasks. So let's copy the artificial intelligent text and ask it to translate it from English to Italian. I'm an Italian native speaker and I tell you that the translation is really good. Number six, checking for typos and grammar mistakes. 
So let's say you've written an email or a text. You can just copy and paste it into ChatGPT and ask it to check for typos and even correct them. So look for typos in the following text. Yesterday, I went to the mountains with my kids and skid the whole day. It has automatically identified and corrected the typos. But now I want to know what typos it corrected. So I ask it to highlight the typos in the original text. And there you go. Number five, writing a meeting invitation. ChatGPT, write a meeting invitation for Monday, February 13 to discuss new fiscal year AOP. And there it is, very professional. I don't have to add anything to it. I can just copy and paste it. So let's say you had your meeting and discussed a few points and agreed on an action plan. Now you want to write a message to everyone to make sure that everyone is on the same page. So ChatGPT, following the above meeting, write a follow-up email including the three action items that we agreed upon, including submit AOP, draft KPIs, review AOP with team, all to be done by March 1st. There you go. Number four, your Excel formula personal assistant. So say you have a set of data that you want to analyze. In this example, I have a list of 20 names with a hiring date. They belong either to business unit A or B. They have two different roles, either sales or marketing. And I want to track their progress over four training programs. So these are the raw data. I'll now explain to ChatGPT what I want to do and ask it to give me the right formula to obtain those results. So let's copy the first row and I'll ask ChatGPT to give me the Excel formula that calculates the average training completion percentage for person one. And that's the formula. Let's just copy, paste it into Excel and there you go. Now let's copy the formula to the other cells and I have the completion rate for everyone. At the bottom, I also want to compile a summary table. So I want to know who's completed the whole training for both units, but then also have a split by role and by unit. Let's copy the whole data set and now ask ChatGPT, give me the Excel formula that calculates the percentage of persons who have a 100% training completion. Paste the data and there we go. Now let's keep asking the right questions to fill in the data into each of the cells of the summary table. So same request as above, but only for people with a marketing role. Boom. Same as above, but replace marketing with sales. And boom again. And then modify the two above formulas by only including persons who have a completion rate below 100% and higher than 0%. So those who have the training programs in progress. And there we go, and let's continue until we have the whole table filled in. And now the top three. Number three, writing a report. So let's take the Excel data that we've seen before. Now let's copy them and ask ChatGPT to write a report based on those data. So write a report based on the following data. Just copy the table and paste it. So it spits out an interpretation of the whole thing. But now I'm not fully satisfied. So let's give it some additional prompts. Rewrite the report considering that unit A plus B is the sum of unit A plus unit B and not a separate third entity. In the report, stress the importance of defining that several people, also from those who've been hired several months ago, have not completed the training program. Propose an action plan to get to 100% training completion for all in the next two to three months. And it just gives it to you. Obviously, you have to check it and then add it or modify it as needed. It won't do the full job for you but it saves you at least 80% of the time. Number two, creating a project schedule. So let's say you're starting a project from scratch. You can use ChatGPT to start drafting a schedule with budget, timelines, and activities. As an example, I'm asking ChatGPT to create a project schedule with key activities, milestones, and budget for the launch of a new version of the Elgato Stream Deck. This guy here. Describe each activity in detail. So it gives me a list of the activities, the estimated duration, and even a proposed budget. Now, will it be precise? Well, probably not, but at least it's a starting point. And actually, ChatGPT could highlight a few activities that you didn't think about. So you can always refine ChatGPT proposal by adding more details. So for example, I can ask, break down the budget. And there you go. If you're finding this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you'll help me produce more good content for you. And my first way to use ChatGPT 
to boost your work productivity is help you in the creative process. So let's say you want ChatGPT to find a creative name for a website that speaks about remote work, improving online communication, productivity and presentation, as well as gives digital tips for remote workers. Does it sound familiar? So it gives me a name, Remote Rise. Okay, it's good, but give me 10 more ideas. Wow, add some fun to the names. Just amazing. So I like Remote Revolution. Write a value proposition for it. Rewrite it following the template. We do X for whom by doing what. And it's a conversational model. So it completely understands what you mean and just gives you what you need. And guess what? I used it to find a clickable title for this YouTube video. So the only question you have to ask yourself is, what will you do in the spare time that ChatGPT is giving to you? As a last bonus, I asked ChatGPT to give me an idea for a following video that you may be interested in watching. And it gave me this idea here. 